Akasmism, in contrast to pantheism, denies the reality of the universe, seeing it as ultimately illusory. The prefix a in Greek meaning negation, like un in English, and only the infinite unmanifest absolute is real. Conceptual versions of akasmism are found in Eastern and Western philosophies. In Eastern philosophy The concept of Maya in the non-dual Advaita Vedanta school of Hinduism is a form of akasmism. Maya means, "...illusion, appearances." The universe is considered to be Maya, however this does not mean universe is considered as unreal. Wendy Doniger explains, "...to say that the universe is an illusion Maya is not to say that it is unreal, it is to say, instead, that it is not what it seems to be, that it is something constantly being made. Maya not only deceives people about the things they think they know, more basically, it limits their knowledge to things that are epistemologically and ontologically second-rate." In the Vedanta school of Hinduism, the perceived world is Maya that hides the absolute and ultimate reality Brahman. The human mind constructs a subjective experience, states Vedanta, which leads to the peril of misunderstanding Maya as well as interpreting Maya as the only and final reality. Vedantins assert the "...perceived world including people are not what they appear to be, there is more to them than their perceived physical forms." Maya is that which manifests, perpetuates a sense of false duality or divisional plurality. This manifestation is real, but it obfuscates and eludes the hidden principles and true nature of reality. Vedanta holds that liberation is the unfettered realization and understanding of these invisible principles, primarily that the individual self soul is the same as the self in others and the self in everything Brahman. .Advaita Vedanta school is best described as monistic, absolute idealism, while Dvaita Vedanta school is pluralistic idealism. Both have elements of ontological akasmism, where the material aspect of cosmos is considered an «illusion, appearance, incomplete reality» compared to that which is spiritual, eternal, unchanging. In Advaita Vedanta philosophy, there are two realities, Vyavaharika empirical reality and Paramarthika absolute, spiritual reality. Maya is a fact in that it is the appearance of phenomena. Brahman ultimate reality, absolute, cosmic soul is held by Advaitins as the metaphysical truth. The perceived world, Maya is true in epistemological and empirical sense, however, Maya is not considered by Vedantins as the metaphysical and spiritual truth. The spiritual truth is the truth forever, while what is empirical truth is only true for now. Since Maya is the perceived material world, it is true in perception context, but is «untrue» in spiritual context of Brahman. True reality, to Advaita scholars, includes both Vyavaharika empirical and Paramarthika spiritual, the Maya and the Brahman. The goal of spiritual enlightenment, state Advaitins, is to realize one soul as same as cosmic soul Brahman, realize the eternal, fearless, resplendent oneness. Advaita Hinduism and Buddhism have both been called as examples of akasmism. Other scholars state Buddhism cannot be accurately classified as a philosophy based on akasmism, and that Advaita Vedanta is not akasmism either. In Western philosophy Akasmism has been seen in the work of a number of Western philosophers, including Parmenides, Plato, Spinoza, Kant, Hegel, Schopenhauer, and British and American idealists, such as F. H. Bradley. The word akasmism is often traced to Hegel who used it in his discussion of the philosophy of religion, in particular his understanding of pantheism and refutation of the charge that Spinoza was an atheist. Hegel explains that for Spinoza it is the infinite substance which is real, while the finite world doesn't exist. But the accusers of Spinozism are unable to liberate themselves from the finite, hence they declare for Spinozism everything is God, because it is precisely the aggregate of finitudes the world that has there disappeared. If one employs the expression, all is one, and claims therefore that unity is the truth of multiplicity, then the all simply is no longer. The multiplicity vanishes, for it has its truth in the unity." W. T. Stace sees all philosophical akasmism as rooted in the mystical experience, whether or not the authors are aware of this. Stace points out that most Western philosophers tend to a form of qualified akasmism, where the world is less real rather than utterly illusory. 
He sees two mystical sources of akasmism from within the eternal moment. Firstly, the mystical moment contains all eternity and infinity, and thus there is nothing outside it. And secondly, because the eternal moment is experienced as the supreme value. Topic. See also. Anatta belief that there is no self. Buddhist atomism. Christian science. Gnosticism Immaterialism Kabbalah Maya cosmic illusion Mariological nihilism New thought Nihilism Simulated reality Solipsism Sunyata Zero energy universe References <references> <references>